okay today, today we shall be de developing a dummy variable <coughs> how the dummy variable can affect the import or uh, how the open economy how the open economy not how whether 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 the open economic system can affect import or not that we shall be checking today whether the open economic system sorry whether the open economic system can affect import or not that we, we, we shall be checking today um, and and uh, you can see we have the variables such as we have first variable is consumption then dummy GDP import then LR what is LR LR means here LR so we have the five variables so here I'm writing one is consumption that is the one variable then we have dummy then we have GDP then we have LR then import oh, sorry import and here import is the dependent variable and consumption and all these are independent variable and that is our model okay here the variables actually like this I am opening all the variables as a group yes all variables have been open and the data is from 1960 until 2010 is the right so the first variable is con consumption it is starting from 1960 until 2010 and then the dummy variable okay here from 1960 the dummy variable was zero 1960 until until 1996 dummy variable was zero meaning that economy was closed economy from 1960 until 1996 economy was closed economy but from 1997 until 2010 from 1997 which is 1 right all are 1 from 1997 until 2010 economy was open economy so what does mean by 0 0 means closed economy and one means one means open economy so from 1997 the economy was open no more close right and now after estimating if the dummy variable become significant and 
the coefficient is positive meaning that open economic system has a effect on the dependent variable meaning that import right like this right With whether the open economic system can affect import or not right so so uh, so so th uh, this one actually our uh, our model and uh, whether open economic system can affect import right and here here uh, what is uh, uh, here if the dummy variable becomes significant and the coefficient is positive meaning that the open economic system has a effect on the import volume but if the dummy variable is not significant meaning that open economic system has no effect on the import volume okay then our next variable is gdp gross domestic product and then another variable import yeah, so uh, import is a uh, this one is the dependent variable import is the dependent variable and finally lr what is lr lr means lending rate sorry here lr means bank lending rate right lending rate or i can say the interest rate of the bank right right so that is lr so here import is the dependent variable and all are independent variable okay now now uh, i uh, now now i i go to quick to estimate the model i go to quick to estimate the model so here estimate equation <coughs> okay then i put all the variables the dependent variable is import then consumption oh, sorry i put c c is a constant then consumption then i talk about uh what else uh, consumption gdp and what else uh, consumption gdp and uh, i say lr then dummy right so here import is the dependent variable and all are independent variable and c is the constant right right so this is my single <laughs> single model single model and it is called it is a it is a single uh, model so we can run the model now okay press okay to run the model so the outcome has come up you can see the model and here import is the dependent variable you can see and all are independent variable and this one is the constant okay now i check uh, the first one is uh, the consumption is significant because the p value is less than 5% so the consumption is significant to explain our import right but the sign here is negative but but the sign should be positive but here it has been negative 
but it should be positive. Why? Because when the consumption goes up, import also should go up because uh, people want to buy more. So when consumption goes up, import should go up. That means the sign should be positive. But here it is negative. So, so, so the sign is not all right. So we are not happy about the model. Okay, so that means we cannot accept this, this, uh, this uh, uh, model because, because this coefficient has become negative. Then GDP, GDP is not significant, right? And the sign is negative, but this sign should be positive because when GDP goes up, import normally goes up. So, th so the sign should have been positive. Then LR, what is LR? As I said, it is the it is the bank bank rate right bank rate that is the lr so so when the bank rate uh, but bank but the lr is not significant so that means lr cannot influence import because lr is not significant because here the 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 probability value is 66.02 percent here the p value is 66.02 percent which is more than 5 percent so meaning that lr is not a significant variable to explain import okay then dummy yes the dummy the coefficient is positive right and it is significant because the p-value is less than 5 percent meaning that the open economic system can affect affect our dependent variable which is import positively so here this thing I, I am telling again the coefficient is positive here and that it is significant right meaning that open economic policy can affect import positively can affect import positively okay okay so th so th this thing uh, okay okay uh, now now uh, the the the, the uh, question is how is this model how is this model so first i check r square r square is 71.07 percent which is quite high so we are happy about the model because r square is quite high then f statistics we can say f statistics and the p value p value of the f statistics it is significant because it is less than 5% meaning that all the independent variable jointly can influence our dependent variable so we are happy about this model okay then we then we check our residual analysis that is the uh, that is the uh, things residual diagnostic i go to view right residual diagnostic first i check serial correlations i choose lag 2 i choose lag 2 okay so Prush Godfrey serial correlations 
observed r square and the p value right observed r square and the corresponding p value the corresponding p value is how much 0.21% which is less than 5% which is less than 5% meaning that um, we can re re reject we can reject we can reject the null hypothesis because p value is less than 5% and the question is that what is our null our null hypothesis is there is no serial correlation but here what we are doing here we are rejecting null hypothesis meaning that uh, this model has serial correlation so we are not happy about it because each and every model after estimating should not have any serial correlation but here our model has serial correlation so we are not happy about it okay then I check again I go to view residual diagnostic I check uh, this one the test of normality that I check okay you can see the this statistic Jarkabera Jarkabera statistics and corresponding probability value so the probability value is how much 79.87 percent which is more than 5 percent so we cannot reject null hypothesis and what is our null our null is the residual is normally distributed so and and that is desirable the residual is normally distributed that is desirable and here we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that residuals are normally distributed so we are happy about this model because residuals are normally distributed okay finally we can check that is we can check also the case of uh, heteroscedasticity right we can check also so here I choose the uh, Bruce Pagan Godfrey test so here I can I can check the observed R square right this is test of Bruce Godfrey test heteroscedasticity observed R square and corresponding p value how much the p value is 51.69 percent which is more than 5 percent meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis and the question is that what is our null so our our null is that there is no heteroscedasticity in this model so that is the null hypothesis and that we cannot reject so meaning that we are happy about it okay so the question is that uh, for this model r square is quite high f statistics is very significant we are happy about it then the, uh, uh, this model has no heteroscedasticity and this model so we are happy about it and and the and the uh, and, but the problem is that this model that uh, there is serial correlation in this model so we are not happy about it but but another thing is that uh, the residuals are normally distributed so we are happy about it so in this model there is a only one problem that residuals 
uh, uh, that means that there is serial correlation in this model so that is the only problem for this model thank you very much for being with me for a while And these are the, uh, you can see that terms of uses. So you can see the terms of uses. That's all.